Look at that. Has he ever dropped a ball in his life? Paolo Dybala is living one of the best moments in his career. After many people thought his departure from Juventus meant his best days were behind him, the Argentine is now a world champion. And while he leads Roma's European dream, we ask ourselves, what the heaven happened to Dybala? Bittersweet goodbye. The love story that united Juventus and Paolo Dybala came to an end in 2022, when the Argentine left the old lady and burst into tears during his farewell game. Dybala won 12 titles in his seven-year spell as a Bianconero, where he was even considered Cristiano Ronaldo's best partner, but failed to achieve the Champions League. He led Juventus to their latest finals so far and received a few painful knockouts during his time at Turin. So when he finally left Italy's most awarded team to join Roma, Many thought that the Argentine's best days were behind him. On the verge of his 30s, without having won a European trophy, it looked like Paolo was about to give a step back in his career. But Dybala was about to show the world that he was just getting started. The perfect storm. To fully comprehend how Dybala turned out to be one of the best players this season, we must take into account a few things. First of all, days after his departure from Juventus, he joined his national team to face Italy in the Finalissima. Dybala was sent in in the 91st minute, and three minutes later, he scored, securing the title for Argentina. He had been left out of the 2021 Copa America, so this was the perfect comeback for him. His performance boosted him up, and upon his return to Italy, he met with his new coach, Jose Mourinho. The Portuguese and the Argentinian instantly connected. As a matter of fact, the Argentine admitted that he joined Roma thanks to Mo's call. Before arriving, I'd already spoken on the phone with Jose. I liked his way of communicating and his way of being because of how he faces each training session and each game. That call convinced me of coming to Roma. The coach knew he had a jewel, as Dybala is known in his country, in his hands. Backed by Mourinho, Dybala took control of the team's attack. And since his first game, Paolo proved that he was still one of the most skillful players in the world. His form was arguably the best since his arrival to Italy, and the Argentine coach Lionel Scaloni included him in the World Cup squad, even though Dybala picked up an injury a month before the tournament. Paolo watched the majority of the World Cup from the bench, but in the decisive moments, he had his chance to shine. Paolo played in the last minutes of the semifinals against Croatia and again came from the bench in the final. And, as it happened in the finalissima, three minutes were enough for him to play a key role, as he managed to steal the ball from Kylian Mbappe when the Frenchman was about to score the decisive goal. Dybala then had the tremendous responsibility of taking the second shot in the penalty shootout, right after Kingsley Kuman failed his. He scored and returned to Italy as a world champion. But the best of Dybala's repertoire was yet to come, as he took his game and Roma's to the next level. How decisive has Dybala been so far? Well, besides his evident superiority when it comes to dribbling skills, he is Roma's top scorer in the season with 14 goals. And he has the most assists as well. At the time of recording, he had provided eight assists to his teammates. Roma keeps fighting for a Champions League position in the Serie A, while maintaining their hopes in the Europa League, where they will face Feyenoord for a place in the semifinals. Suddenly, no one is saying anything about Dybala's best days being behind him anymore. To the highest bidder. Paolo Dybala's future seems to be out of Roma and out of Italy as well. His performances have simply been too good, and some European giants will most certainly try to sign him, especially due to his incredibly low release clause. Media reports have indicated that Real Madrid is determined to seduce the Argentine and leave Roma out of the equation. When he signed for the Italians, the club put a release clause that is surprisingly low for a player of his status. 12 million euros. That amount of money would mean no challenge for Florentino Perez, who could get one of the best players in the world without risking Madrid's economy. Now, that being said, Roma is set to offer Dybala a big increase on his paycheck in an attempt to convince him to staying. Asked about this, the jewel assured that he wants to play in a Champions League team. The release clause concerns my agent and the club, so I don't know what will happen at the end of the year. I want to win with Roma. I know it's more difficult to succeed in the Europa League, but next year, I'd like to be in the Champions League." While playing arguably the best football in his career, Dybala knows that Real Madrid could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Will he move to Spain in June? Paolo Dybala has reinvented himself and took his game to the next level. He is Roma's leader on the field and dreams of making history in Europe. Will he stay in Italy one more season? Let us know in the comments. Mourinho has helped Dybala to become his best self but he's far from being the only manager who turned a player into a world-class baller. Check out 10 managers that created absolute monsters. See you next time!